Yo, what is up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how you can actually edit a Fortnite montage in DaVinci Resolve without plugins. So, uh, this will be basically a part 2 to my last video on this. Uh, it already has like 1.2k views in like over a week and that's just crazy. So, uh, this tutorial I hope is as popular and uh, just share this to everyone who needs help with uh, DaVinci Resolve. So, uh, now that I've actually loaded into a project, go into this settings tab right here and uh, make the timeline frame rate 60. Uh, this will be really important if you want to follow along. Uh, 60 FPS is like what you need for your timeline. So uh, once you have that, let me actually just find the clips I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna use actually, uh, I'm gonna use the Godly Edit Course 203. Uh, this one should be good and I'm just gonna use the song going bad by uh, Drake and Meek Mill and uh, once you do have uh, everything just loaded in uh, go into your playback right here it'll be in the top left and click on it and then click timeline proxy mode and then click quarter resolution basically it'll just make it lower resolution but smoother Please and what you're going to want to do now is find the beat drop, like the main beat drop that is like, just the main beat drop. Anyway, saw you last night, but did and I'm actually going to change the volume a bit. And, uh, and uh, now that you guys have found the beat drop, uh, click on it and uh, click M on your keyboard where like the beat drop is selected. Now that you guys have actually trimmed down uh, the audio, uh, find where in the clip where the kill happens. So you will know when the kill happened once a character turns blue, doesn't matter which one. When a character turns blue, it means that uh, they have actually killed the other person. So uh, now that this character has turned blue, click on the video and click M on your keyboard and that should add a marker. And just drag the audio back so it lines up perfectly with the clip and make sure that the, all the markers line up so it should look like this and uh now i'm going to show you the velocity so uh go onto your video and right click link clips and then just click link clips and uh go into retime controls by clicking Control r on your keyboard Add a speed point on the marker by clicking this little triangle right here. It says add speed point, and then go uh, 30 frames back. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So once you've gone 30 frames back, add another speed point and go. Uh, directly in the middle, which should be 15 frames in front. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And uh, add another speed point. And uh, now that you have basically two sections, uh, on the first section you're going to want to make it 50 speed. So uh, click the little triangle and make it 50. And then go into the second speed. Uh, in like the second section and make this uh, 400 and uh, just drag this back so drag the middle speed point so the last one lines up with the marker and make the last speed 50 so it should look like Did it part day? Did it part day? and uh, now what you're going to want to do is make the clip or the kill 60 frames so on the marker, uh, once you are on the marker of the kill, uh, click shift and arrow keys on your keyboard. Or shift and right arrow key. And now that you've done that, uh, go back to the marker and do it. And now just trim the clip and the audio. And then just delete it. And uh, for this clip, the uh, uh, or the volume is actually really low 
So I'm gonna make it so you can basically see the audio track better. Yeah, that should be good. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to make a really cool build up. Uh, it's kind of like a stretch build up. Uh, so basically, go into your effects tab right here and add an adjustment clip. Basically, just drag adjustment clip and then put it into the timeline. And uh, now make sure that the adjustment clip is 40 frames. So click shift and arrow and right arrow key on the start of the adjustment clip and then go 20 frames back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then just trim this down. So just, all you need to do is make sure the adjustment clip is 40 frames and then make sure that the adjustment clip ends on the marker. And now that uh, you do have your adjustment clip, uh, go into the fusion tab. And right here is where I'm gonna show you guys how to make a stretch buildup. So uh, type in transform. So by doing that, click control space and type transform. And, uh, and just copy my settings. All right guys, so now that I've, I do have uh, the aspect keyframed, uh, like it's not really much settings, just keep, basically make sure that you click the little diamond next to the aspect and then go to the end and make this and then just click on where it says one on aspect and make it basically like 0.94 and make sure that the edges are on mirror and it should look good uh, it will take a while to load and uh, what I'm going to do now is actually just change the aspect a bit I'm going to make it say 0.92 that should be good and uh, now I'm going to use a preset from the last vid uh, make sure you're on the on the build up or on the adjustment clip Go to where you have my presets downloaded and uh, no plugins tutorial. Uh, add the pre shake no plugins. And right here, it should be keyframe to zero. And then on the end, it should be keyframe to keyframe it to uh, point or to keyframe it to like three. So it should look like this. And actually, uh, on keyframe, the overall strength on the end from one. So make sure that the end, it's like, at like, actually five, that should be good. Or 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So it should look like this. And if you feel like it's a bit too strong of a pre-shake, just make it like 0 0.3. That should be way more smooth. Yeah, that's good. So now you do have this little build up right here. It's actually a really smooth build up. Uh, I do suggest that you guys use it because it's really good in no plugins. And uh, now for the kill, I'm just going to use a preset from the last video and adjustment clip over the top of the kill and then just trim it so uh, it basically ends on the, like at the end of the clip. And uh, I'm just going to add my X Shake Glow Flicker. It's a really cool. Uh, uh, kill effect it comes with the camera shake a little bit of a zoom in a glow and a flicker edition it will lag a bit but that's just how DaVinci Resolve is so right here that you guys do have this really nice pink glow effect uh, click on the glow effect right here and put the shine threshold like every clip is different uh, I'm just gonna make the shine threshold like 0.75 and that should be good. And now, what you're going to want to do is uh, drag in, let's say, your second clip. So I'm just going to drag in my second clip. Um, I think I'm just good. Uh, this one, uh, T18 clip. T18 is like <laughs> the god, honestly. Like, he's the, the best. Uh, He's like one of the best players and he's like, he makes the best clips. So just, I'll put this, uh, these clips in the description. Yeah, a lot of murk, me in a so now you're going to want to do is just find the second big beat drop. Yeah, a lot of murk, me in a and this looks like it's the second big beat drop. So click and make sure your playback head is on the beat drop and click M on your keyboard. 
and now just make sure that uh, the clip is lined up well so like I said before you will know once the kill happens uh, like once something turns blue so right here as you can see the character turns blue basically like the enemy so click a marker on that and then just trim this down so it lines up and then trim it back like that and now if you see that there are black bars on the side of the clip click this little square right here and then just just drag this so it's basically more stretched and now you can't see the black bars anymore and now just do the same that I did on the last clip uh, right click click link clips go into read time controls by control R add a speed point go 30 frames back so uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 add a speed point go to the middle <coughs> uh, add another speed point first speed 50 second speed 400 and make sure that the last speed point basically lines up with the marker and then make this 50 and make sure that the kill part is 60 frames and that looks good and uh, now I'm gonna show you how to do a warp uh, so just add an adjustment clip over top of basically the clip and go to the to the first speed point that you added and go 10 frames back 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, drag your adjustment clip so it lines up with that and then just trim it on the marker of the clip or of the kill and uh, just copy my settings for my warp that I'm gonna use and uh, click control space on your keyboard again and uh, look for dent and uh, yeah just copy my settings uh. all right guys so now that you just just don't change any settings for now uh, just basically right here where the just at the beginning of the clip of the adjustment clip keyframe size and strength and then go to the end and put size to like 0.48 and put just fidget around with the strength I'm just gonna put it to like minus 0.15 and that should look good it should look like a decent warp and as you can see it does do a good job of actually just pinching it and I'm gonna go back into fusion shop and just adjust it so it looks perfect so let's see yeah 0.2 should look good all right guys so now that I've made the dent perfect it looks really nice it looks it's like a nice warp uh, basically go to the first buildup that you added which should have been a pre-shake and a uh and uh like a stretch buildup uh click on it and then alt and drag left click with dra like left click and drag it to the second clip and just put it over top of the warp so it should look like this and uh now just go back into the fusion tab and delete transform because you don't want to have the exact same build up twice so it should look good and now I'm just gonna add uh, impact from the last tutorial and uh, yeah just make sure the adjustment clip lines up with the kill and go into your fusion tab and then add Y shake glow flicker this comes with the Y shake of flicker and uh, glow <laughs> like we just by the name uh, make the glow again the threshold might be a bit too high so make it like 0.78 that should be good and this is how it should the whole montage should look like and the camera shake might be a bit like the keyframe might not be great but I did the best I could with the camera shake like it's not gonna be perfect and the glow is actually way too bright I'm gonna switch that to like 0.85 or I'm gonna make the threshold 0.85 that should be way better and uh, this is basically it besides the video transitions so 
for a transition you're going to want to go into the video transitions tab and just do rotate 90 this is a really clean transition basically just rotates the clip and if you want to make the transition a bit faster just I'd say uh, just make the like the transition itself like the setting a bit smaller so it should look like this now this will be in slow motion and it looks really clean and uh, this should be it for the tutorial thank you guys for watching uh, thank you guys again for a thousand subscribers uh, I will be posting a 1k sub special soon I'm not telling you when it's coming out I want it to be surprised but I'm just saying it'll come soon and uh, yeah, drop the like or drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.